Okay. Welcome back to Swift L7 Gaming. I'm Swift L7. It's great to be back in Euro Truck Simulator 2 on Trucker's MP mod. We are hopping back here on just north of Germany. I believe we're in, uh, we're in, no, we're not in Denmark. We're in Norway up here. Uh, uh, Christian, I, I, I almost want to say Christian Island, but, uh, Christiansen. And we're going to continue picking up some loads and exploring this uh, upper uh, couple countries, northern couple countries here. So, I know it's been a little while. I got some videos in the backlog to push out to you guys. I know there's been a little bit of a lapse in videos. Uh, it's just been a very busy week at work. I have not had any time to push out um, any videos. Uh, but they are all in the backlog, and they are all in the folder somewhere, waiting to be edited and pushed out to you guys. So, thank you for your patience uh, and continued support on this channel. So, we are going to look for a load to take here. I believe when we left off, and we can check here right now real fast before we pull out. Uh, we are level 7, um, maybe, <laughs> doesn't tell me what level I am, um, but I believe we're on, oh, no, we're level 8, okay, um, we are level 8, so we, we're, we're on our way down the road uh, here, in leveling up. We have a little bit of a thunderstorm. Let's go into this yard up here and see uh, what we have. Looks like some car trailers we're going to go to get a hold of. See if we can pick this up here. Um, Fifteen thousand. That's not bad, and it's going to go up and over to Sweden. So this looks like a pretty interesting drive along the coast. I'm going to take that job, and we're going to pick up these uh, trailers. So you'll remember in our last episode, we upgraded our truck. We got the uh, uh, third axle on now uh, on our back. So we have three axles on our tractor. And uh, we still don't own a trailer yet, but we are coming along. So we'll go ahead and throw the cables on here and raise the legs up. Looks like it is 5.38 in the morning on this server. So we got a clear day ahead of us, it looks like. The rain is over with. Here we go. So we got eight tons of cars. Not really a whole lot compared to what we're used to hauling. this roundabout here. What do you call these in uh, in England? Or not England, but you know, anywhere in Europe. Is this like a uh, traffic circle? Is that what you guys call these traffic circles? We call them roundabouts here in America. Circles. I don't think 
we really use the word traffic circle. I know that maybe in an official newspaper report about one going in. So I was doing some uh, minor reading and I discovered why European tractors, when I say a tractor, I'm talking about this part of the semi, why European tractors are, um, we need fuel, I see a fuel station down there, um, a lot smaller than American tractors. And the reason is American uh, tract tractors, uh, semis, if you will, just the tractor part, uh, are not as regulated as European ones. So American ones can be, uh, there's really no length to them. There's length to the trailers, but not to, length requirements to the trailers, but not to the tractors. And um, it has kind of led to the design of a larger tractor unit in the in America. So very interesting, I thought. Um, at one point in time, they were regulated and that regulation was lifted, and so early iterations of the tractor uh, trailer in America, you see the tractor uh, being uh, cut off with the motor uh, underneath or in the back, as opposed to uh, as opposed to what you'd find typically on the road today. So, a fun fact for you. Beautiful scenery out here uh, in Sweden. Or no, we're not in Sweden yet, we're in Norway. Yeah, a can of Coca-Cola in front of me here, so. <sighs> it is Friday night. There are only about 807 people on the server, and I'm going to be surprised. I was expecting to be a uh, thousand on. I think this is a speeding violation. I think this is like an easy pass, right? Auto pass. Saturday or my weekend days. So, me 
and my father I took some golfing. And uh, we had a bet where the loser would uh, buy the other one uh, dinner at Golden Corral. And I beat him by one stroke. One of the only times I've actually beaten him too. I'll get another speeding ticket here. Serious bends coming up. Let's pop up down to 70. 65. Lose some speed going up this incline. And we're going to be turning here, so. Let's put them our blinker. Oh. Finger caught a key there. Watch that guardrail. This clipped it a little bit, but no damage, so we're okay. We are okay. There's no one that can come onto this road, so we don't have to worry about traffic. Let's take her up to 100. There's no one on. 800 people, that's nothing. That's nothing on this server. Where are you guys at? Where is everybody at? I guess you guys will all be sleeping over if you're playing in, playing in Europe, right? Because I know, let's see, my family lives in England and they're five hours ahead of me. It's eight o'clock here. It's so what's one, one o'clock over there. Everybody's sleeping. Traffic uh, server side. Uh, to 
Agony. Jump into the profits. Doesn't really matter. Profits, I'm going to say, profits in truckers at Piedmont, they don't really matter. Um, because you can do loads so quickly because there's no AI traffic. What really matters though when it comes to profits is if you are maxed out on your loans like we are, um, but we actually have, you know, what, a balance of, you know, 225 euros, a thousand euros. But, um, but if you're maxed out on these loans, then you start getting into wrecks because there's a lot of layers on. When you guys have seen it happen, there's lots of wrecks. Um, that's when you start really struggling. Um, what was I? What was I saying here? Um, oh yeah, the other reason why they, I don't think they have AI traffic. We talked about the safety problems when we were ripping off the first of the coast, and um, there are some. Uh, this is my lane, right? Yeah. Problems, I believe, with um, with server lag. So I just don't think the servers can handle it. Um, which I can understand for like if there's over 2,000 people on. Oh, there's blue dot in our screen way out there. Um, but when there is less than a thousand people, there should be traffic starting to spawn in, uh, even if it's very light traffic. Just then. Give us something to look at. <laughs> Give us some challenge here. Make it feel like we're not all by ourselves. This looks like a bigger, um, let's see if we can burn some speed here. Looking for those, uh, okay, I almost went to the left there, that's why I ended up going through this very slow lane here. That was not intended. 
I couldn't see those barriers. I mean, it looked like a lane back there. There was no cones or anything. It just kind of blended in. It kind of got me there by surprise. Wonder in uh, real life how many truckers get really tired and uh, crash into those things. There's no uh, cones or anything on them to tell them, oh yeah, hey, there's something different here. Better not continue this way. Oh, this is an interesting bridge. I haven't seen this yet. We've seen the double arch bridges, right? Some special bridges, not a single one. It's really fascinating when you look at how they built some of these bridges. And how, maybe not these ones here that we're crossing, but when you talk about like London Bridge and some bridges in New York City, I mean, people actually lived in the pillars of the bridges as they were building, which is just uh, so fascinating. Where are you, speed cameras? I, I just don't see you. I just don't see you. It's so, so tempting to speed. Because there's no traffic. There's no traffic anywhere. I'm maxing it out here. Our engine really doesn't max out very well. I mean, our top speed, either with cruise or without cruise, is 110. It's as fast as this rig goes. I don't know if there's a limiter on the server or if it's just uh, as fast as we go. Um, we don't even make it to, to uh, 12th gear. I mean, it's probably a little easier on the engine to cruise here than here. But, um,
So there has been a game that I've been wanting to come out for a little while. And that would be a game called Hightail. Uh, it was uh, based off of Minecraft. Um, however, it is not Minecraft. Uh, looks really cool. It's supposed to be out this year. Let's uh, back her down here for a minute. Be uh, caught off the guard here in just a moment. Um, however, it looks like uh, they are not releasing this year. I just think that they got to um, High Pixel Studios, who are developing the game, along with uh, who, who sponsored them. Rare. Is it Rare that sponsored them? Um, I think they got too excited about the community's response and um, really dropped the ball. I mean, it looks like they already got a fairly polished product, but I think they're just a little too obsessively uh, polishing the game to the point where I've lost interest in getting it right away, at the very least. everything. If you hear my cat scratching his litter pan in the background. <laughs> oh, Mr. Fluffy. Okay. What do we have here? Well, we got quite a bit of uh, leveling up experience. Let's see, we're about 30 minutes into this video, so um, let's see what else we have going on here. A short little run to Denmark if we want. Um, let's... Uh, See what else is in town. 
Um, and uh, we'll see if we can do a short run somewhere. One more run. How about that? One more run. are going. Uh, just a short little ride through Sweden. So we're going to be hauling uh, 37 tons of beverages to uh, John Comping from uh, Gothenburg. We are doing a heavy cargo. Obviously we're doing the double trailers. We are doing an important delivery and some fragile cargo. So um, low pay, but I'm thinking we're going to get lots of experience for this. Uh, let's go ahead and take that job. Uh, yep, yep. I, it's going to be definitely a uh, a, um, a a more difficult load. Uh, Thirty-eight ton or thirty-seven ton um, is very well near our max. Oh, oh! I didn't do it. There's no damage to the trailer. I didn't get no warning. <laughs> okay. Somebody just shook up all those beverages. I hope no one opens them. So, uh, looks like it's riding around our axles, doesn't it? A little bit, or our tires, huh? Just graphical thing. Okay. Windows up, so you guys can all hear me nice and easily. We have our beacons just in case uh, we need them. We don't need them on right now, but in case there are others around, and we're trying to do some uh, tight corners. Until then, let's go ahead and get going. So immediately we're going to be turning to our right. We're doing really good. There's not a lot of traffic, so good and bad it makes it less interesting, but easier for us to definitely deliver some cargo. I can definitely feel the weight of this trailer load of beverages. Is that Norway flag or Swedish flag? No, we're in Sweden, right? So that's the Swedish flag, okay. trailers as we go around this bend. We're good. We 
got that. We got that just fine. We're going to want our right lane. about that right now. Nine twenty seven. That's about right. Sounds right in my mind. Full tank, okay. Let's take a good look at her here. There we are. There we are. Nice rig. We need to sleep. Let me just check real fast. Uh, no, we're only half an hour. We don't need to pull over yet. Keep going. 
again here down the road.
looks like we're going into Nor Food down here. With all these uh, beverages. Well, this is an easy drop off, so that's nice. Usually when you're pulling doubles, it's pretty easy. I think we'll probably hook up to those doubles down there in a moment. Um, and that might be a separate episode, so we'll drop these off and see our stats. <laughs> we missed, I think we did a great job parking. I think we took out our mirror. <laughs> we did not quite get up far enough, so let's just do that real fast. There we go. Are we going to make our uh, level up? Because that would be wonderful if we did. Nope, not quite. There's nobody around. We can just stay here and we're not blocking anybody. So we can continue exploring Sweden. I think that we're going to do that in the next episode. So I, this has been the... Uh, um, this has been SwiftDial7 Gaming. I am SwiftDial7. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, goodbye.